This is Twit. Phil Schiller is moving upstairs. Phil, of course, who was in charge of marketing at Apple for how long? Ever. 20-something years? 20 he was, he was with Apple for 20 something. He's, he's been, he's been mm -hmm. in marketing for like 27 years. He's head of marketing for, for I want to say 14, 15. I can't, I can't, so long that I can't remember who his predecessor yes. was. He, he is, he's a fixture. Phil. Look, there, you think, you think about a, a Mount Rushmore of Apple, meaning that these are the four or five <laughs> people that you see at every single keynote that represent like the face of Apple, who know all of the stories uh, deep, deep, deep back into the Steve Jobs era, who also are part of the brain trust that factor into all the decisions when the fact that he has marketing in his title implies that he's he's yeah. choosing colors for posters no he is like deep 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 like waist deep in every single decision he runs about product. how we're exactly uh, he so uh, has is, a bs a in biology from boston college he was at macromedia in san francisco yes vp i didn't realize that vp of yeah. product yeah. marketing we must have just cro you know ba almost crossed paths at that point um at Apple, he has been pretty much, as you say, Andy, part of every major Apple announcement of the past decade and a half. Uh, worked on the format, formation and marketing of iMac, MacBook, MacBook Pro, iPod, Mac OS. He's credited with coming up with the idea for the click wheel interface on the original iPod. He worked uh, as a support uh, supporting role, best, uh, best uh, supporting actor to Steve Jobs' Famous keynotes for both the <laughs> iPhone and the iPads. In fact, he did like the Wi-Fi one. The what? <laughs> yeah, he's turn off your laptops. <laughs> <laughs> no, but remember he, he had to jump or something with the with the laptop while Steve was trying to beam him a signal. So like some of those funny. are just so classic. Like they could be a rerun show <laughs> Never on a streaming forget. service. He uh, he w when Jobs was on medical leave, he gave several keynotes keynotes himself. Yeah including Apple's, Apple's last keynote at Macworld in 2009 and the WWDC keynote in 2009. Uh, he announced the MacBook Pro line update, the 3GS, new versions of iLife and iWork, but he's best known for one word, courage. <laughs> and not innovating anymore, my ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> both of which didn't age well. Um, no, but I mean, like, the, they're the memories that we live with, Leo. Yeah. They're the moments. Exactly. Unfortunately, you get kind of painted with that uh, brush. He is still at Apple. He will be an Apple fellow. What does that even mean? Oh, thank goodness, it, Leo, because I, I actually looked like it up was. on Wikipedia, and I still couldn't figure out how that relates to what Phil Schiller will be doing at Apple. <laughs> yeah. There's no title between senior vice president. Like Apple doesn't have presidents. They don't have anything else. They have a very uh, enigmatic structure. And he's basically going to keep control. So he just kept getting more and more things. If we've noticed over time, like Steve Dowling hasn't been replaced. You know, his job is just being done by others. Angela Arendt wasn't replaced. Her job is just being done by, yeah, by others. Some people uh, are not at Apple anymore. No, is, is this like true, in, uh, he's in the doing TV the app show Store Silicon still, Valley where they go up to the roof and they just hang out and no. have lunch because they don't have anything else to do. <laughs> no, but like but he has so much on his vested. plate, which is why they promoted <laughs> Jaws to begin with. And now he's gonna he's gonna keep App Store. He's gonna keep the events because the events are gonna be a, a challenge for the next year still. And Jaws is gonna do all the mar marketing stuff. Yeah. So that's the second yeah. half of this announcement is that uh, the very highly respected Greg Joswiak, who is often called Jaws. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, will now be uh, senior vice president of worldwide marketing, effectively taking Schiller's post. So Phil will continue. This is the quote from the Apple press release: "Continue to lead the App Store and Apple events." Does that mean he's going to lead events, or he's going? I mean, what does that mean? Well, if, if it remains to be seen. But another thing that should be pointed out is that. Other uh, at Google and other companies, when we see, when we find when there's an announcement about well, the this senior executive has decided that he wants to uh, pursue lots and lots of additional goals until in addition to his wonderful 20 or 30 year career, and so he's being elevated to a position that is kind of vague and undefined. That often means that they lost so their their product launch supremely failed, and they're being nosed out, or there is another reason why they are he's being offered a we want we can't you're you're too big for us to fire you so let's just give you an opportunity to fade out gracefully this is absolutely not that sort of thing so yeah. it basically it's it's it remains to be seen what it means but 
I bet it means that he's 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 still in the meetings. He's still a part of the email list. He's still part of the Slack channel. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's well, just that he's, he's is, no longer has. Jaws is living like, their out. Their problem is you have these amazing people like you have Kyan Drance who's just been promoted to vice president of iPhone product marketing. And where where do they go? Like they're all working at Apple, but they just don't have titles. And Phil's been working yeah. there a long time. He's got. He's got you know, money forever, and his family sometimes wants to spend more time with him and the money. That's yeah. just how these things work. We'll see. <laughs> we'll just see. I, my guess is he'll still have some stage time, but how much uh, operational role is another uh, matter. This was but, Mansfield, right? And we yeah. saw this happen, too. Because Mansfield got Kyan called back, doing, though, because nobody yes. could do Bob Mansfield's job. Yeah. <laughs> well, so are you saying that Jaws will start an ill-conceived Apple hot tub secret project? <laughs> the amount of aluminum will be too expensive for anyone else to sign, for Jeff Williams to sign off on. And then Phil will come, be, come back and say, you fix our outdoor party well, let initiative. Me, let me fill you in on Greg Joswiak, who is now the Apple SVP for worldwide marketing. Uh, he got his start early. He got a degree in uh, a Bachelor of Science in uh, Computer science in uh, 1986 and even then they said his nickname jaws was a combination of steve jobs and steve <laughs> wozniak he was destined to join apple joined apple in 86 two years after the macintosh launched uh, in apple's newly formed support organization for the mac so he has his roots deep in the mac he was running that group within two years uh, then he led comms for the Apple Developers Group, so he has a good relationship with developers. I always like to see that. That's a very important thing at yeah. Apple, to understand the the users, but also understand kind of the second most important group of and users. And WWDR reports into him now. I mean, w yeah. w that's one of a big part of the marketing organization is worldwide developer relations. That's right. Uh, in 1997, he led product marketing for the new PowerBook line eventually uh, all po portable products eventually all hardware products including in 2001 the ipod uh and then uh, of course the iphone and the ipad so he really has been in a marketing role kind of a product marketing role forever and ever yeah and they're very different than a lot of marketing people because in my old job when i was in product marketing a lot of the people you talked to were salespeople who would just tell you whatever you wanted to hear like please buy my widget it'll do any oh you want it to pour coffee it does that you want it to fly a plane right. it does that <laughs> buy my widget and if, if when you talk to phil or jaws they will explain the silicon they'll explain the memory substructure they will explain yep. the manufacturing process they'll explain how the software they are mostly engineers, very, very hands-on well, and very bright. About you know, stuff. in a yeah. way, this, in my opinion, is an upgrade because Jaws really is an engineer. Uh, Phil Schiller's yeah. uh, BS was in uh, biology. Um, I think well. <laughs> Phil was more a classic marketing guy who loved the product and loved the engineering. Jaws is an engineer uh, from... <laughs> From the way back, so, he's a classically educated, classically engineer. educated engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, that's a, that's a you, you work at Apple at that at such a high level that that that's much better on a resume than well, I don't have a degree in engineering, but I was <laughs> a senior executive. I at Apple agree. Before. I agree. And Jaws, but but I, but I, I I underscore what was said about Jaws. I haven't I haven't had I've only had one briefing with Phil. I've had many with Jaws, and he's the not only I, I've and I've also had those like briefings with like marketing executives. Yes, where there is this, there is the script where we're trying to implant these phrases in your head. Uh, there, the times when, with when I when I had a briefing and I saw like Jaws in the room, it's like, oh, this is great. We can just have like a forty-five minute conversation about like every single note that I have and everything that I don't understand about the technology or anything that was unclear. And even if it's something he can't talk about, he will figure out what I'm really trying to ask and find a way to get that. He, he, it was always a very very deep conversation. So. I'm very, very. He's he's on that list of uh, of Apple people where I've known them for so long and I've had such good times with them that like I can't. Why don't you retire so we can hang out and become actual friends? Because yeah. <laughs> we have to. I can't. I can't ask you like out for a drink at a, at a trade show because that would be wrong. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, Jaws, I'm very, very glad. Jaws for has him. been at Apple one year longer than Phil Schiller, but he's uh, not much younger than Phil Schiller, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Phil turned uh, sixty this year, so. It's kind of, you know, Apple doesn't say stepping down. They, the press release sounded like he was stepping up, but yeah. really, mm -hmm. he's stepping down, right? He's semi-retiring. I would sideways, say. yeah, sideways. He's 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 no longer overclocking his CPU. Let's yeah. Say. The quote uh, <laughs> from the quote from the statement is: "I first started at Apple when I was 27. This year I turned 60. It's time for some planned changes in my life." 
as somebody in his 60s, I understand that usually means taking a little more time to enjoy life. Uh, you know, he's been there a long, long time and he's done a lot of things. He's probably worked, as you say, really, really hard. Uh, but boy, you really have to say that with the exception of Tim Cook, there have been some massive changes. Johnny Ive is gone. Angela Aarons is gone. Um, Steve Dowling is gone. We dealt more with Dowling perhaps uh, than the general public because he was their internal PR guy. And then Phil Schiller, who was absolutely the figurehead, uh, second only to Steve Jobs uh, for this company for a long, long it's time. It's weird, though, because it's because their executives stay so long that when they change, it's a bit like you watch, you watch a lot of events, a lot of technology events, and it's different people every couple of years. And the people you deal with are different almost continuously, like especially at other companies. Normally, absolutely. So the CMO people. changes yeah, daily. That's why it's such a big thing when that happens because yeah. they've been there for 30 years yeah um so uh chris espinoza uh who was like one of the original <laughs> mac guys tweeted congratulations on being promoted to apple fellow joining here are the other apple fellows and this will give you some idea of where in the pantheon phil schiller's ending up steve wozniak rod holt who was an early engineer on apple II, al alcorn same Bill Atkinson, who designed QuickDraw, uh, mm. uh, was very uh, involved in the, the design of the early Macintosh. Steve Capps, another Macintosh engineer. Rich Page, uh, Gershon Sadu, Gary Starkweather, Alan Kay, who is you yeah. know, as close to a god in personal computing as you can get. Uh, Don Norman and Guy Kawasaki. Those are the Apple yeah. fellows, ladies and gentlemen. Legends, so many. I, I hope I hope they have like a I hope they have like a, an embroidered smoking jacket. Like when they when you become an Apple fellow. <laughs> I hope it's like, not orange like the, or what is it green like room. the master's jacket? Like master's. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a nice color anyway. <laughs> six colors, six colors. Oh, it might be. Six colors. Yeah. And you know, the other thing about Phil we always knew uh is his hobbies. He was you know, he's a great photographer, right? They always showed off his yeah, photography. <laughs> uh, he was a scuba diver. Um, he, uh, he, is. he, I didn't know this. He Huge was a car aficionado. Cars, yep. drums. Huge. Uh, his BS was in Marine. He played biology. in a rock band very briefly, a progressive rock band. Prog rock fan. All of yeah. this is in his Twitter bio. So he's not going to be sitting on the roof having lunch. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's that's what's always so interesting about the longevity of the executive careers at Apple, because my my experience with people who are working at that kind of a level, I'm, I'm talking about like mentally, is that they get very, very restless after time, where at some point they they uh, they do they, they did everything that they they wanted to achieve at a certain company. They are the really uh, envious in terms of what they've accomplished, but then they're like, "But I really, really want to like be the. I really, really want to be the first people, the first one to photograph this this presumed to be extinct species of bird." And then suddenly, that's all they want to do. Or, I want to make movies now. Or I want to, uh, I want to be a truly become a philanthropist as opposed to I want to hide some of my money in a, in creative ways. It's 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 always been very interesting to me that people who tend to people who get to apple tend at that level tend to stay at apple again the, they have these 10 20 30 year careers where it seems like you know it's like it's like being the uh, the first uh, the, the the number one that uh, on the enterprise you are not going to dynamite will take will blow uh, riker out of that seat and you wonder how long it's going to take for other people to advance up 